Hey guys, welcome back to Dawn Rule 16. I am your host Javon, and today we're about to have a brand new benchmark. They're testing out Tomb Raider 2013 for the PC. Today we're doing another low-end PC benchmark on the AMD A12920P with the Radeon R7 Bristol Ridge Integrated Graphics. Spoiler: This is gonna hurt. Not really. It's running at 60 FPS at 720p right now. It's actually doing quite well. We are running on the lowest preset, but it is managing to handle itself somewhat. We're about to fight the storm guard, which is never going to be a good thing. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy this note. Where please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and stick around for more epic content. Really, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out when I test out these low end laptops, man. And trust me, this is low end. Holy crap! So at 720p. Now, unfortunately, based on how I'm doing this, um, I'm not able to record with audio because I have it hooked up to another monitor. So I'm using a capture card. So this is how the game actually plays, but you won't be able to get audio based on the reasoning for that. Once again, sorry about that, guys. But I mean, you might be able to hear the audio a bit through the microphone. But other than that, it ain't gonna fly. Now it is managing to hold over 30 FPS, which is quite shocking to me. The AMD A12 9720 bottlenecks everything and it throttles like crazy. As you can see, the uh, Radeon R7 is throttling absurdly right now. It's nowhere near where it should be, is what I'm trying to say. Like if I could really get that GPU to stick to the 900, this would be awesome. Unfortunately that is not the case, we are not able to do so. But I will do more videos trying to figure out how I can get that to stay somewhere around there. But 720p, it runs at 30 FPS. This is an old game, 2013, man. I don't know who know anyone that decides to, to play games on these anymore. But if you do, it sucks. Just know that. Just know that. Holy crap, these guys are coming for me. These guys are coming for me. All right, time to bring out the big ones. What? You guys were coming for me. Can't let you do that. And this is a big area I decided to just decided to fight in. Ooh. Rough. Decided to test it out here because what could possibly go wrong, right? Big area. Like I said, it is maintaining over the 30 FPS. We are running with 8 gigabytes of RAM in DDR3 dual channel memory mode. I kind of feel like it's the RAM also. It's definitely the GPU though. The GPU is throttling to such an extent that the game actually isn't playing properly. Like I should be getting way more frames in this. The same thing happened with the Iris 540. Unfortunately, I can't use throttle stop for this one. It still is an it's still a playable experience, but it could be way better. I got your legs. Got your legs. Oh, come on. Oh, nice. <laughs> we walked into that. So everything is going wrong here. This is basically me playing games uh, like on the i37100U. Where the CPU is always a bottleneck. Everything here is a bottleneck. Everything. CPU, GPU, RAM, everything here is a bottleneck. It's 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 it's, it's actually kind of insane to be honest with you. I was gonna say I have like these rocket explosion thingies. I'm not exactly sure how that didn't. Hi guys, I'm here. Well, this is awkward. Oh, geez, nice. He's not dead from that. I So, I decided to test it in one of the most demanding areas of the game, as you can see. An incredibly demanding area. It is still managing to hold up the 720p at 30. For the most part. I see most of the time this has been... I'm not dead, but damn, I really thought I blew them up first. Except for obviously the big explosions, but the second the explosion is over with, it goes back. 
is not the worst possible thing in the world. I really hate the fact that my CPU is so at a bo bottlenecking because it doesn't seem right. Like, how is that possible? It definitely feels like something isn't right with the CPU. I don't feel like I should be getting this type of performance. It doesn't seem right. That's a realistic thing. But for the most part, we managed to maintain 720p at 30fps. If you cap this at 30fps, this will be an enjoyable experience. Now, the thing about Tomb Raider 2013 is it has many, and I mean many, custom resolutions. So realistically, you could do so much with this. You could get this to run on so much lower resolutions that the game will be extremely playable. We're going to run into things like this where... Like I said, this is a demanding area though. Most of the game won't be like this. This is extremely demanding. A lot of gunfire, a lot of gunfight, the, the, the dust effects, a lot of effects. There's a lot going on here. So always keep that in mind. There's a lot going on in this level. And that's why I picked it. Woo! But once again guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and stick around for more epic content. If you'd like to see more content on this uh, certain laptop, just leave a comment down below if you'd like to see me test next on the channel. I will be posting a bunch of these because I realize I haven't u utilized this one as much and I won't always have it, so I might as well. I really hate the CPU usage always being 100. This has 4 cores, man. And the CPU usage is, is just, it's just lacking. It lacks. Definitely lacks. CPU use is always at 100%. Everything's always at 100%. Wait. Don't tell me you just glitched out. No, there's no way. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. I really, I, It really doesn't matter to me. For the most part, though, like I said, it did maintain the 720p. And we are using a capture card once again, so everything you saw here is how the game actually runs. Now, would you, would you recommend you ever buying this in 2022? Hell no, what is wrong with you? But, if you have it, it can still do something. Every once in a while, I need to do something, either change the RAM or look up something to get the GPU from throttling like that. Because, if the GPU can't stay stable, I can see why it's performing like this. I... If, the G if I can get the GPU to somehow keep up like this, I won't even post this video. You won't even see this video. You'll see me the next one instead.